Hello to everyone guys, this is a new video. In this video we are going to see how to move our uh, boat. We are using a, a controller based uh, system. So we are not going to use our keyboard to move the boat but our controller. So the first thing to do is to go to the project setting and right there we have uh, uh, three different uh, 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 settings. I already set this uh, in the previous uh, recording but I forgot to uh, reset this to the basics so this was file 1, I renamed this to throttle and then in the horizontal I changed uh, the type to joystick axis it was key or bus, uh, mouse button, I go to joystick axis and uh, for the axis I selected the x axis uh, same things for the uh, vertical, selecting the y axis, and for the throttle, I selected the tent axis. Obviously, uh, the type is a joystick axis. You can go to see uh, which axis correspond to which button uh, everywhere in the internet. Just type uh, input uh, mapping uh, for uh, input mapping joystick for Unity, for example, and uh, you will find that we can go uh, to write our code uh, now. So we can go and in our bot movement we can uh, set a true variable, so true serializable variable, so serialize the field and go on float and one is the thrust and one is the rotational speed, the turning speed, so we call it turning uh, speed. Uh, in the fixed update, this is a very simple script, in the fixed update we can say that uh, uh, if the input dot uh, get axis, uh, we are now going to uh, set the rotation, so if the horizontal axis is less than minus open shoe, remember that the axis goes from minus 1 to 1 of range, or this is the same but uh, if it is uh, more than, than uh, 0.2 so uh, this is uh, a simple way to determine if the uh, our button is dead so it's, uh, it isn't uh, moved uh, maybe just a little bit but the player obviously doesn't want to move his if it is less than 20% uh, uh, 10% so we are going to delete all the, this input if uh, this happens uh, we can change uh, so if uh, it's not uh, a little movement we can change the rotation quaternion Euler rotation and then we can say that the rotation should be uh, all zero for first and then we change the uh, Y rotation, so we go to transform dot rotation dot uh, uh, two angles dot y. This rotation uh, plus the uh, actual uh, new rotation, so the offset of this uh, that will be the input dot uh, get axis. Uh, obviously, the horizontal axis. Uh, times the uh, turning speed times the uh, time dot fixed delta time and this goes uh, uh, to increment our uh, to change our movement so we copy this uh, part of the script we change the horizontal to the throttle And there we change the transform dot rotation to rigid body dot uh, uh, add relative force, so the force is relative uh, to the local space of our object, and this force will be a uh, minus vector free dot right. So as we can see in this window, we can go. Uh, in this, uh, this is the uh, plus right direction, the x axis. This we can go uh, minus so the boat moves forward, and uh, so minus this times the thrust, and the thrust I said times the time dot fixed delta time, 
uh, times the uh, obviously the input value, so the input dot get axis throttle. Now we can go inside Unity in the player script. We can go down and then in the thrust and turning speed, we can change this value. The thrust is based on force, so it's influenced by mass. So if you increase the mass, you should increase this. For now, I found uh, 500,000 to be a good value. The turning speed is not relative to the mass, is how much degrees the uh, boat moves in uh, Euler angles uh, in uh, obviously how it's called uh, in the space, so one degree per second should be enough. As you can see now, we can uh, play this, we can move the boat, we can accelerate, no, no just we can't accelerate. Hmm. So, as you can see, if you uh, put a minus dar, this will give strange behaviors. So uh, let's do another uh, thing. Try. Okay, there is left. <laughs> I didn't know this. So vector three dot left. Let's see if this works now. And no, the boat just refuses to go on the other way. So the only thing we can do is to change this uh, so we need to well change the this uh, to be uh, to start on a uh, opposed opposed rotation and go with vector 3 dot right so this is right I don't know why this doesn't work you know I really don't know And this is just if it's major than this because the tent axis can't go on a negative uh, direction. So uh, change this. I pick the this the, by the other project. So let's try. And now this works correctly. Yes, this is correct. So we can increase the force because this is pretty slow. So let's go with double the force. Or maybe even more. So let's try four times the force. This should be enough. Yes, this is enough. And now our, our boat is uh, have a correct movement. I don't know the bug for the Y direction sincerely so i can't say how to fix this i will work on this probably but this is the complete movement for our boat i just uh, changed the basic uh, uh, rotation of the model uh, so this is all for this video we can see in the next video in which we will add a simple simple particle system to this uh, uh, object